So what is that story that uh, we hear once again that someone was married and all of a sudden mm. the breaking has a story? Second wife. Lizzie, what's going on? Good morning, Joe and Rita. Good morning, Lizzie. Good morning. So you guys want to hear the story. So I'm, this I'm is you want to hear the story. I know you are itching to hear the story. So there's a bit of social media records going on at the moment. After one of Nollywood's finest actors, Yule Doche, took to his Instagram page yesterday to announce his latest offspring and second wife, which came as a shock to many. Now, his post read thoughts. It said, it's time for the world to meet my son. His name is Star DK Munachismo Chisom Yule Edoche, born by my second wife, Judy Austin, and I love him so much, just as much as I love my other children. Now, this came as a big blow to so many people who are just seeing this for the first time, who have seen this post and are wondering the circumstances behind the scenes because nobody knew that Yo had, first of all, a second wife, and nobody even knew that he had a child from the second wife. And recall that in the past, Yo used to be really a champion of um, the fact that he says that his wife stayed with him, you know, from when he had nothing. Like you see that post up on the screen, it says, I had no sustainable job when I got married. She said she would manage. She never frustrated me from one day. It's been 16 years of marriage. Now we are happy. Different things work for different people. So Yul is one of those actors or one of those industry people where people that people believe had just like a very good working marriage, you know, the old story of from grass to grace. She stuck with me when I had nothing. And then we seeing this one, and it's just the fact that the person in question, the wife, the second wife in question is a colleague of his. She's also a movie uh, actress and also a producer. And um, people are just wondering, what is the circumstance? Because nobody saw this coming, you legit having a second wife. What could be the circumstances? Now, this has caused a big stare on social media. Now, let's see how people are reacting to this very big trend wave. And let's see why it's making our trend wave this morning. Now, that one is from Shan George, who is also an actress. She says, wait till you, for real? The shock will shock me now. I need to eat. I beg, make someone send me urgent to Kebiko. No food for my house. Make I no faint here. Congratulations if it's real, sweet baby. Of course, sweet baby, very beautiful baby. I'm just so sad to see that. You know what? Celebrating this wonderful, if you see that little boy, beautiful boy, if I do say so myself. But, you know, just the circumstances and I'm just not so pleased to see what this is coming with. Now, that one is from Jennifer. Jennifer says, the audacity to do a public announcement. Total disrespect to your wife. Let's see how more people are reacting to this one. Now, that one is from Joy. Joy says, if this is true, no one is to be trusted again. And don't bother coming out for president or counselor because we, the social media in-laws, will not vote for you. You can't be trusted. Thank you, sir. And let's see how more people... Cheese Obama says, all these men, where they post their wife, always fear them. Wow, that's another angle. And Real Steve says, so while you was busy directing movies with this lady, you was busy directing her in the other room. Fear these actors. But you know what is very, what really struck me is wife actually put out a comment that really touched me. She said something like, may God judge both of you. And I thought to myself, that must have really come from a very strong place. That's the wife right there. Underneath the comment section, she said, may, that's her name, may you, the daughter. She says, may God judge you both. And she put this. So it's really causing a big stare on social media, Joe and Rita. I mean, why wouldn't he cause a big stir? You've stayed with this man for 16 years. You've had four children from him, for him rather. And then he has been posting you, praising you, and then all of a sudden you come out on social media. For me, it's total, total disrespect. You but come I don't out on think it's media better that say, she's his wife, uh, like he's announcing that she's his wife. He's not announcing that she's his baby mama. I don't, I don't think this is a noble, a nobler way to do things. I, I don't, for me, it's not, it's not noble. For me, it's not noble. For her to come out and say, may God judge you both. That means probably she's not that, aware that, or she's that, also not from, in consent of from, it. From a depth of pain. Come on. That's where it's coming from. I mean, uh, it, it, this is someone you praised and said you've stayed for, you've stayed with for 16 years. Uh, and all of a sudden, bam, there you go. Hey, I've got a baby and uh, I need to announce to the world my new wife and so on and so forth. But, but my question is, has the new lady said anything yet? Well, actually, right now, she hasn't put out any post. He himself hasn't put out any post. People are just watching, of I course. Th I think he put, up, he put up a post a few minutes ago. Uh, a few minutes page, ago. Yeah, celebrating uh, the new wife. But the wife herself, whom he's celebrating, I mean, I, I just had to quickly go, uh, I mean, yeah. And you could see his post there. Mm. But the wife he's celebrating hasn't even said a word. 
She'll so probably come out and but say But they've, not, they've been previous posts, actually, Joe. Apart from this one, I think I've saw, I, I saw previous posts of her praising Peter Doche, you know, Doche, but we didn't necessarily know what was happening. We didn't know that there was something going on Behind between her, scenes, herself yeah. and uh, Yule Doche. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So she knows the family, if Kez don't she take knows it. She Obviously. Uh, a colleague as well, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then well, let me tell you what, what I've also seen on social media. Some people are saying things like, oh, well, so other people have baby uh, mamas, other people. So why does why is it only different? Like, what's different about him? Like, why why do we have to put some people on the pedestal? Like, you can't do this, and some people can do this. Like, what's the issue? And then he's even acquiring. <laughs> let me use the word acquiring uh, as his wife. And you know, people are saying things like this. People are also talking about the fact that okay, why can't uh, you know? Why can't women? Why can't we like? Why can't we balance everything out? But if this goes for the goose, it should go also for the gun. And that kind of thing. Was there an agreement between them when they got married? Did he say, okay, at the end of the day, or probably after Rita, 16 or sure 17 years? I, 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 I don't have no, those details. No, we'll because definitely. if we say, if, if you want to legalize a second marriage, I think it should be a consent between the man and the wife. So did he say that? Was there an arrangement before then? Well, at this juncture, I would say before it turns to a proko or talk, mm. talk nation, okay. um, <laughs> what we can do is just hands off mm. and just hope of for the course. best and just keep watching because. I always say this, social media is a place that you need to be very careful. You very bring careful. everything on social media, guess what? You've got judges. They will judge you. It mm. is indeed a law Social court. media in-laws. Yeah, social waiting. media court, like that lady said. Social yeah, media in-laws. social media court. Right, I don't think we should just stop putting people on pedestals. They didn't ask for it. What mm. if everybody has their life to live? Mm. at the end of the day okay mm. all right we'll, we'll leave we'll that story like that. i mean i don't know yes let's leave it at that let me take you to this also interesting story i came across on social media a lady simply identified as rena or misbehavior has expressed shock after getting an invite for morning devotion by the staff of a hotel she checked into in port Harcourt, nigeria now this lady was unaware of the tradition of the hotel to invite their guests for morning prayers she said she got to know uh you know a knock on her door to come for prayers and then she believed it was a joke and she refused to utter a word and then the next thing she heard was the voice of people singing and clapping downstairs and that's the video that you can see on your screen this shocks this definitely comes as a shock to me but let's see how social media users are reacting but before then let's check out this video It's certainly no joke, <laughs> Joe and Rita. <laughs> I can see you. Is this a hotel Joe, or hotel? Joe, let's it's start money devotion hotel. right now. Uh -uh. Joe and Lizzie, let's start. <laughs> in, in, in Nigeria, yeah. In Africa. So see, wait, these wait, things wait. are bad. You need to defend <laughs> yourself. <laughs> Joe, it's not funny. Joe and Lizzie, you need to defend uh, yourself. So you uh, wake what, up. What, let's what, pray. What is going on? <laughs> so I check into a hotel somewhere in the Bahamas. Hmm. I'm about to relax and they say, hey. You, have you must to hear what? You must hear but the you word. Can, but the thing is, they didn't force you now. It's a tradition. We didn't say you must come out. But wait, wait, wait. Then why go and knock on our door? You're disturbing me. First of all, you come to knock on my door. Secondly, you're making noise. Did you hear the loud sound? <laughs> if I'm trying to sleep or what? So you can't that's, sleep. Is that what I'm going to get? Oh, is, is this a hotel or a church hotel? Or a, what's church hotel. <laughs> <What's going on? laughs> that's a new one. <laughs> but let's check out how people are reacting to this on social media. Let's first of all check out the tweet itself from Misbehavior. Um, but that's a comment from one of the people that reacted to this. Said, the person says, they did nothing wrong. They asked, you refused. They did not force it down your throat. And they proceeded to do their thing. For those who agree to join in, just like, just like you play or blare music in public, worshipping likewise isn't wrong. We should all be tolerant. That's a good angle from Ifai. Now, Senator says, most of us in the comment section are blindfolded by religious beliefs. Organizing prayer sessions in an hotel is outrightly wrong, honestly. The management needs to work better because I don't see any reason lodging uh, well, <coughs> where I'm lodging and I can't have a peace of mind. And she went on to say she should ask for a refund. Peace out. And let's see how people are reacting. That one is from Pastor Bishop. Pastor Bishop says, close your windows. They ask you to join if you're interested. You, you are not. They didn't force you. Rather, they proceeded to a place away from you to do their prayers. 
you opened your window to do a video so you can complain that's weird close your window that's a lawyer's advice it says close your windows end of discussion period <laughs> now that one is from akinta De. akinta De said if it was a party that was holding a music blaring would she have done the same but let me tell you there's a comment that really stuck out for me it says this is a country nigeria where people even pray for transformers and i was like what <laughs> but guess what i actually saw this video let's check out this video of people actually praying for transformers eh? Crazy things are happening. Ah, <laughs> oh my goodness. See, prayer is the key. Lizzie and Joy, prayer is the key. You understand? Oh my See, goodness. everything works with prayer. What? You get? Transformer, you are praying for. Oh my People goodness. People don't understand. Yeah. I mean, we pray so much in this country, Nigeria. And, in, and, in and yet, we are not making any country progress. We pray so much. Why are we not making as much progress? Who do us? Who do us? That's the question. What is going on? So, so some, I see some people in that uh, the response that they they actually defending uh, the prayer in the yeah, hotel. Yeah, saying close your well, window. I, do I, I think it's very clear. That, yeah, I think we need to know that one thing. See, the fact is, a hotel is away from home. That is a home. Mm -hmm. So when you go there, you're expected to be of peace, of mind, at peace of mind, relax, just. Just, 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 but Joe, just be calm. Joe, talking about peace of mind, what if you go to a hotel and you're playing in loud music? Do I still have no, peace of mind? So let me explain. You, you, have the right, you have the right to complain. You're not of course, to, you so do have the hotel, right to complain. So first of all, we need to understand that it's a, it's, a, it's a service. They're giving you service. That's what you pay for. You're paying, it's like How? paying for a service. Like, listen, I want to relax. They make it comfortable. So you're paying for comfort. We need to know that another word for hotel is comfort. That's mm -hmm. it. How many times do they listen? So, but they will tell you that they are comfort. trying to make their money. I don't think that's a hotel. That's probably a street in somewhere in Asia. Like you somewhere. said, you said it. Why is that? I'm just going to pick areas that are, you know, densely very populated rather. But I think uh, it looks no it looks like a nice place. Mm, fairly nice. Well, Lizzie, 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 <laughs> Lizzie, Lizzie, all the best. So, I think Lizzie, I think I found where I'm going to put you. Next Lizzie, week yeah. or this weekend, you have to. Lizzie, you are going there, yeah, and you must have, pray. I know you did must not disclose pray. the location, but we'll take now you Now I know that you people Tonight. are against me. Lizzie, we love you. We want Tonight. things to work for you. Tonight. You understand? I'm sure when you come back for trend wave, you'll be trending. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Elizabeth Musa, for bringing us latest trend for it's social media. It's always a pleasure. Thanks. All right. Rita. Okay. Thank so, you, Lizzie. Uh, <laughs> problem. Maybe problem I should. Problem. Maybe I should finish. Rita, I think I should put you there. Enjoy. Two nights, you stay there alone while we do our Joe, job. You know, we're in this. No, Joe, we're in this. Whatever I do, no, you no, do. No, no. What? Don't worry. I will, I will, I will, you will lead, then I'll follow. Nah. nah you're the there, man. There's certain things that do not take No, place. men pray, need pray, to pray, lead the way. Praying on a transformer to work <laughs> when there are simply technical issues or mechanical issues that it just needs Joe, to there be are some fixed. Thi there are some things beyond technical issues, though. There are mm. some things beyond that.